hello everyone welcome back to another video today i will be showing you how to remove a tattoo using silhouette paint and after effects all right let's get to it all right so here we have a video of this girl where she's has her tattoo on her left shoulder Okay, the problem I see here is that right about this part, there is a small light change, as you can see over here. It goes from light to dark. That could be a problem when we're doing this, since there is that little light change. So just to keep it simple, I'm going to cut it right before it happens would be like right about there so let's just cut it there all right so now we're going to open silhouette paint All right, so once you open the silhouette paint, you'll see the interface. Um, I am running the latest version as of today. So first thing we're going to do is head over to the Roto. Click on your X spline. Okay, once you finish the spline, go ahead and reshape it if you need to. Um, I am going to add a little blur to the shape. This will add a little blur to the shape. All right, so now next thing we're gonna do is start tracking it. Make sure you're on the Mocha Tracker. Since there's very little movement on this, I'm just gonna track the translation and the scale and I'm going to track forward since we're starting from the first frame you want to make sure you have good tracking data because all your paint strokes are going to be based off of this data so the better you track it the better the results will be at the end make sure though this doesn't move very much. Make sure it tracks this only. Okay, once we're done, it's let's go and zoom out a little bit. Next thing, let's head over to the paint and over to the color. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and show the shape so you can see where. Let's go ahead and stabilize it. Go ahead and pick the layer you're working on. So what this does is it it's kind of like a rest the layer like if you're painting on Photoshop okay so let's go back to the first frame make sure you transform pick the layer you're working on okay now you're gonna right click on your mouse to sample the the area you want to sample okay so what I'm trying to do is let's go ahead and raise the softness a little bit Make sure your opacity is up. Now we're gonna raise this and just start painting. Okay. So right click, 
paint. If you're using the Wacom pan, you just have to apply very little pressure on it. So I'm increasing the brush size and just barely tapping on the tablet. Yeah, I'm just trying to cover the tattoo. I'm not trying to paint over any other extra skin. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't look like the actual skin tone, because then we're going to be blending all these colors in. But try to get as close as you can to that skin tone. Okay, once you've covered it up, now let's, let's go ahead and head over to the blemish tool right here. Click on the split screen. Go ahead and drag the slider to the, this side. So what we're trying to do right now is match the grain and the blur with the skin tone. So click over here on the color box on the red, go to your amount and look for an amount that's similar close to. So as you can see, that looks pretty close. Let's go over to the green. Let's go ahead and lower the amounts. So you can see it's too much. You can see too much noise in there. Probably one will look okay. Okay, one looks good. Let's head over to the blue. Okay, so everything looks okay. I feel like the blue maybe it doesn't need any noise. So let's just remove it. Okay, that looks kind of good. All right, now let's go ahead and turn this off. Now, still on the blemish tool, go ahead and with your Wacom pen or the or your mouse, go ahead and raise the brush size a little bit. Make sure your softness is all the way up. And just gently tap. So what we're doing is we're smudging the colors in. We're smudging them all together. So everything kind of looks blended in. Okay, once you do that, it's going to look a bit blurry and it's not really going to look like skin. Okay, now let's head over to the clone tool. Once you're over here, change your source to output. This is very important. Make sure you change it to output. Next, next you want to make sure that you switch over to detail. So what we're doing is just to show you. We're going to pretty much clone the skin texture onto here. So it's going to look like this skin texture right here on this blurry side. Okay. It's just the color and the output. And the way you switch to that is through here. Okay. So we're just going to clone the detail of the texture of the skin. 
So once you do that, let's go over. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this is similar to when you clone in Photoshop. Go ahead and hold shift. Click on the area you want to clone. I mean sample. Click, drag, still hold it. And click again and let go. You should see these two circles like that. The bottom is where you're sampling from and the top one is where you're going to clone. So I'm just going to start filling this with skin. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to have more to sample from. Need to go ahead and hold shift, click, drag, click. Okay, shift, click, drag, click. And we're just gonna fill these with skin. The better you do this, the better results it'll do. So kind of take your time if you want. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to look like skin. I'm going to turn off the shape. So as you can see, you can kind of see like a little darker here. So let's go ahead and just blend that in a little better. Okay, see that looks a little better. Okay, that looks like real skin to me, so. Okay, so that looks that looks pretty pretty convincing. I wouldn't be able to tell if that she had a tattoo if I've never seen this video before. I wouldn't be able to tell for sure. All right, so once you do that, let's go ahead over and now go back to where it says paint history. Click right here. You're going to see all your strokes. Okay, this is what we painted. Now make sure you click on match move. Make sure that you have output selected. And now let's go ahead and track forward. This will take some time, so I am gonna speed it up. All right, so once it's finished, go ahead and you can check your high looks. Go ahead and check your tracking. So you can see it looks pretty nice. And it might look weird, and that's because you have the stabilizer on. Go ahead and turn it off. Now you can play the whole video. And that looks pretty good. 
Okay, so once you do that, um, you're pretty much done. Go ahead and save it. And then exit. And it's not going to take a long time to to render just because we just did. Somehow it's not playing right now. So I will go ahead and export it and pretty much that's how you remove a tattoo using Silhouette Paint. You can also go ahead and change the, the source. So you'll just see the the patch we just did. Alright, so I hope this helps and if it did, uh, let me know in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe. And